A historical home in Sharon damaged in a large fire this morning. The home was vacant for several years, but as First News reporter Molly Reed explains, the home has a special meaning to the city and possibly a bright future ahead still. She's live in the studio. Yeah, Mandy, the big white house that sits on South Irvine Avenue was built in 1910 by a man named Hugh Jones. He was an insurance and real estate mogul. It's part of a group of large historic homes on the West Hill. Though it's vacant, today's fire unfortunately did cut out the possibility of investors coming in to fix it up. The large white historic home that sits right down the road from downtown Sharon went up in smoke this morning around 8 a.m. Several fire departments worked for hours to get control of the flames. It was a vacant house. It was, it, it was a historic house that I know that had a lot of interest from investors right now. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's destroyed now. The house, built in 1910, was once part of Millionaire's Row, an area in the city where the well-to-do residents lived in the early 20th century. This particular home was a Georgian uh, neo-colonial uh, uh, architecture and uh, very important home. Very sad to lose it this morning. In the front yard of the house sits a sign acknowledging the historic West Hill. Brian Keppel with the city's historical society says losing this home is a big loss for them when telling the city's history and trying to keep it alive, especially since there were people interested in buying and restoring it. It, it was in poor shape inside. It would have taken a, a complete renovation to restore it. But as you can see from the big pillars in the front, it, it, it had some uh, outstanding characteristics. Sharon Fire and police are still working to find out what or possibly who caused the fire. Yeah, I, I just had a report from neighbors that, that initially or, or up to about a week ago that they'd seen someone inside of it. But Chief Fiscus says the damage is too large and there's no hope for the house now. We'll start to piece together and try to figure out what happened. And then at some point, it'll, it'll need to be demolished. The state fire marshal was also out at the house today. The fire department said it'll hopefully have an answer as to what happened within the next few days. In the studio, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News at 6.